Well, wouldn't you know it, on a day I do a story about traffic, traffic today actually is not too bad in Beijing. Uh, perhaps it's because the pollution levels are upwards of 400 and people are perhaps staying indoors. But uh, nevertheless, the Beijing government and also, you know, the governments of other big cities that have the big traffic problems, they've been restricting the number of cars on the streets every workday. Like, for example, I cannot drive on one day of the week. There's a lot of rumors that perhaps that's going to be spread to two days a week to get the number of cars off the streets. Authorities are also tightening up the license plate lottery, where they restrict the number of license plates that are actually issued every month. Uh, that was introduced in 2011. I got mine uh, before the restrictions came into being. But, uh, whoop, there's a guy just about hit him. That's another hazard of driving in China. So back to the lottery system. The Chinese joke that it's actually more likely to win the actual lottery than winning a license plate lottery. Okay, last year, 22 million vehicles were sold in the Chinese market, and for the fifth straight year, that surpassed the United States, making China the world's largest automobile market. And look, hey, traffic again. So we did hit traffic. You cannot go a mile without hitting bad traffic in China. Analysts say by 2020, this market is going to sell 30 million vehicles. And with a big push for urbanization, making big cities like Beijing even bigger, Oh, the gridlock is just going to get worse.